Hello everybody and welcome to my e-list and I am your guru and in this video I will tell you how to compare two lists in Excel using the VLOOKUP formula. It is so very easy and once we have learned that I will also tell you how to color code them so that you can visually know which values are unique values and you can also give them any kind of say a, a textual representation also I'll tell you how to create a graph out of those those values all, all right so it's so very easy to do so let, let's start so this is the old list I have Apple Blackberry Google BMW ENY Samsung Nokia KPMG and here's a new list which has a few new names and a less a few names have been omitted from this list all right so now I want to find out which of these names are repeat values and which of these are unique so how would i do it i'll use vlookup is equal to vlookup i am assuming you are aware of vlookup if you are not you can go to my website mylesson.org and look at the vlookup formula over there i have taught around seven or eight variations of vlookup over there now we type in v is equal to vlookup and what do, what are we looking at looking for the lookup value would be this comma where is the table array the table array is this we press f4 to lock this range comma and it asks for a column index number well there's the magic we the column index number would be one comma zero we close the bracket press enter now you see an apple gets so you you, you see an apple over here too now this means that this is a repeat value However, when I drag this, we'll see that IBM and HP are showing this hash NA over here, which means that these two values are not in the original list, which means that these are unique. So very simple, right? Now, over here, I did something different. I actually used the if error formula along with the VLOOKUP formula to get Excel to write new value wherever hash na was found all right so let, let me show that to you is equal to we look up now before that we need to type in if error if error what it does it wherever it finds the error it will uh, give you the option to write a customized value over there so if error now it says value instead of value we'll be using the vlookup formula the same thing goes over here we look up comma the table array is this one f4 lock it comma column index number would be one comma zero bracket close now it says now now comma now it says value of error so you can type in anything we can type new value close the bracket copy the formula drag it down and you'll find that IB and HP which were displaying hash and earlier now are showing new value isn't it cool yes it is now how did this graph come up so now it says that we have two new values and five repeat values well and this graph materialized automatically well very simple to find the new uh, to find the repeat values what I did was sorry to find the new values what I did was I used the count if formula is equal to c o u n t i f count if range it asks me for ask me for a range i give it a range comma what's my criteria my criteria is quotes open new value it is not case sensitive and you'll see that the answer is two all right now how did i get repeat values well to get repeat values i use the counter formula what it does is it counts this number of cells in a range which are not empty all right so counter this range which is with the answer would be seven minus and this answer new values so we get five <laughs> fun right why don't you go ahead to mylesson.org and go ahead and download this training file for free from uh, just just search compare to lists with we look up formula on my website and you'll be able to find this this file for free and in case you have any questions go ahead and feel free to write your questions in the comments or if you have some suggestions do mention them over there and if you are able to answer somebody's questions nothing better than that in the comments all right 
so let's do that and look forward to your name coming in the next videos in case your question or your answer is really amazing so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning